Hello everybody, in this video I will try to show how to do a verification through a one-time password for the email of your Adobe applications. I know there are thousands of tutorials online, but I actually struggled to do this myself, hence I wanted to, to do a better tutorial for, for the community. We will do a tutorial for dummies, so we will start exactly from zero. First thing we need to do is to actually modify the signup. This signup won't go to the home, but we, we need to make it go to a new screen, which is the verification screen. Let's call it like verification. Create screen. Great. Inside the verification screen, we need three things. The first thing we need is a simple input, which is a text input. We can call, this is a number. And this, is, this will be the one-time password, so I write insert one OTP. That's great. Then we need a button, and this button will, uh, will call our customized action. So send me OTP, the OTP. Then we need another button, which will uh, verify if the OTP I inserted is correct. That's great. After we have this setup, we are ready to create the, the database as we want. And it's, it's very simple. We go to the database users and we add one field, which is called OTP, which is a number. And that is everything we need. Before creating the actual customized action, we need to go to the send grid and do a couple of things. First thing you need to do is to go to settings, API keys, and you need to create a new API key. It will be super easy and then you simply copy the API key and store it somewhere safe. Secondly, you need to go to sender authentication and you have to verify one of your email addresses. When you've done that, we can start building the customized action. When you click send me the one-time password, you have to do a custom action, a new custom action. I will call it send grid test. And this is a create action. Afterwards, um, you need to input the base URL, which you will find in the description of this video. And the method will be a post. Then you need to add a header where it's written authorization. And after you need to write bearer with following your API key. I will put my key so that we are sure it works. That we are sure it works, he said. Okay, that is great. Here is where I got stuck a lot of times because if I try to paste uh, the body, uh, the application crashes. Then and a second thing, I couldn't find anywhere what to paste in here. So you will find in the description of, uh, of the video. Uh, unfortunately, you will have to type it manually. It won't, it won't take a lot of time, but please copy it very uh, slowly and precisely. Even a single comma can crash the custom action. I will copy it for you. Okay, I have done it and I made a mistake and then I corrected it, so be careful. I will explain what this means. So this means that we are sending the email to this email, which has this name, and the subject of the email is this one from us. In this case, this is our data. And this one is the value of your email. At the moment, you see there is no magic test in here. We need to add it. So the first things that we need to add are the recipient email and the recipient name. We do add item, which are text. We call it 
recipient email and for example put your email in here I will put my personal email good then we need the recipient name and you can put your name good following we need the subject of the email and you can say your otp great and last thing you need your body the email body right oh sorry for that good example value uh, i don't know let's put one two frame that's great now that we created those inputs, we need to put them in the body. So as you can see here, the recipient email, we put recipient email. You need to keep those characters there. The recipient name, you, you keep it as well and you put the, the magic input, the subject, email subject and the value, email body. Look at that, you can both have text and magic input together. Now, what this will do is sending an email to these guys from your email, right? But here I didn't write my email, so I have to send to write where I'm sending the email from. So I will use another email of mine. Um, be careful that this email has to be the one that you verified on SendGrid. So I need to use, for example, this one which is already verified. And your name, I will add my name as well. Now that we are at, at this point, we can run a test request. The test is successful and I should have received an email uh, with those informations. I save the custom action and now in this setting we can actually uh, use the custom action. So when the user clicks send me the OTP we want to use this action. So add action, custom action, send grid test. Who is the recipient email? The recipient email is the logged in user email. What's the recipient name? Logged in user full name. What's the subject of the, of the email? We can write it. Our OTP is here. And what about the email body? Here's where the fun comes. The email body is equal to your OTP. And then you have the logged in user OTP. When you click this, this will send us an email. And now we need to verify it. So the user will insert the OTP inside this and then click verify. First of all, let's add a visibility. It's sometimes visible only if this form input that I didn't, I didn't give it a name, but it's, it's the only one is not equal to empty so that if I don't write anything, I cannot verify. Then uh, we need to add an action. This is happening only sometimes when sometimes if the logged in user OTP is equal to the form input input, which is this one. Otherwise, you can you can write, for example, a message, the OTP is invalid or other actions. Something I suggest to do, but it's not compulsory, is to add a property to the users, which is uh, a true or false called verified. And here you can add another action, which is you update the logged in user with verified is equal true only when uh, the OTP is the correct one. So that the logged in user OTP is equal to the input. We can try this. So we need to sign up. 
uh, let's have a random password and let's have my name sign up great as you can see I just have one button send me the OTP and I don't have the verify if I write something the verify appears that's great I send myself the OTP I go to my Gmail address where it should be arrived that's great it arrived and even if it's in the spam folder uh, it's 42607 well first let's try with a wrong number verify OTP nothing happens if it's correct verify OTP I am in, in the home and I am a verified user I want to thank you for, for watching this video